morning, FHS, and welcome to this week's episode of the Sabre Roar. I'm Sam. And I'm Alexis. This week we'll be covering the behind the scenes of the kindness movement, the jazz cabaret, and more. Last week you saw the video introducing our kindness movement. Here's a look into the planning and teamwork that made this video possible. Recently, members of different clubs held a meeting to discuss the kindness movement we are putting in place. Together, everyone brainstormed a slogan and ways to implement the movement into our culture here at FHS and in the Franklin community. Various staff members also joined to address the social issues in our school. Over the last several weeks, we've noticed an increase in students coming forward to report incidents that they've either experienced themselves or witnessed that have made school counselors, teachers, administrators, and students concerned about how people are being treated. We've noticed that students are coming forward to tell stories about incidents they've seen where other students are drawing attention to differences in a very negative way and being outright mean, disrespectful, and cruel. And those are things that we, we can't have happen in school. Everyone deserves to be here to feel safe, feel respected. And our goal here at Franklin High School is to create an environment where every single student Every person has the right to be here and be happy. The Kindness Movement team is hoping to turn the actions of others into acts of kindness. Watch out for more announcements with the slogan and upcoming projects we are implementing. While those students were helping bring more kindness to our school, the Sabre Academy gave thanks to those who have served by hosting the annual Veterans Breakfast. Recently, the Veterans Day Breakfast run by Sabre Academy was held for the second year at FHS. Students and staff also put together a presentation to honor veterans and their service. I served in the Air Force on uh, active duty. I was in the United States Navy and I am the proud father of Tracy Sneed, which is a teacher here. It's important for everybody to recognize uh, Veterans Day because of the fact that they gave their life, some of them gave their life, some gave their time, they gave up their families uh, for periods of time, and uh, I think that they ought to be honored. I feel uh, very honored to be here today because of the fact that young people are doing their share into making us a part of their program. I believe that they gave their minds, their bodies, their everything so that we could be free. I want to show the respect that, that I have for all of them. I think that this is really important because both my dad and my brother are both in the Army. So I think this is really nice that our school is recognizing that these people are veterans and that they deserve to be recognized. I just want to take a moment here to express my gratitude that uh, Franklin High School here goes and honors our veterans and they have every year. I know I've been a substitute teacher here in Franklin for 15 years, and every year they come forward to honor our veterans. The Sabre Academy emphasized the significance of giving veterans the respect and honor they deserve. The next time you see a veteran, make sure to thank them for their service. Before our next story, we'd like to remind you that ACP Week is upon us. Make sure to choose your classes for next year wisely. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask your teachers. After all, they are the experts. Mrs. Schmidt put her IM11 class to the test when she put real world problems into the hands of the students. With Mrs. Weiske out on maternity leave, Mrs. Schmidt, her substitute, took the class out to incorporate math into real world situations. Today in IM11, uh, Ms. Weiske's class, we went out in the practice fields and we flung pumpkins to measure air time, height, and velocity. We worked really hard and got pretty dirty. Students enjoyed how math was incorporated into slinging pumpkins with their classmates. This was fun because we got to shoot pumpkins uh, in the air and see them explode. Oh, that was good. <laughs> good height, boys. Students then went into the classroom to finish the lab and find out whose pumpkin was in the air the longest. The longest recorded air time was 4.78 seconds. Wow, those pumpkins got some air. They uh, sure did. Speaking of getting air, uh, both boys and girls basketball teams kicked off their seasons by claiming wins on their first games. As winter rolls around, both boys and girls basketball begin. The girls won their first game playing against South Milwaukee. I think the first game went as, as good as a game could go. We won by 25 points. Um, we're starting two sophomores. They did an exceptional. Our senior leadership is excellent this year with Megan Lee, 
uh, Maddie Shell, and Kaylee Groovy. So all in all, an excellent first effort. This year, they have a special goal which they will work towards. Is that every player understand their role on the team and coining my favorite phrase of all time, our life is not a series of unrelated events. The girls will continue their effort and push to obtain their goal of knowing their role this season. The following week, the boys played against Pulaski. Well, I believe the first game we had some nerves. We had two sophomores playing for the first time in a varsity game. Skills were there, uh, but at the same time I could tell that they had slight nerves. Uh, we had senior leadership though that stepped up in the second half uh, by Marcus Lee and Ethan. And then it was great surprise in the first half to see Caleb Selensky hit a couple threes. The boys will undertake a new tactic to be successful this season take a game by game this year where last year we took a, a whole approach look at the entire season. Ultimately we want to win 15 games this year, be the top three in the conference. Be sure to check out the schedule and come out to support both boys and girls basketball teams this season. FHS recently held the fall jazz concert directed by Mrs. Umhafer featuring famous jazz pieces from yesteryear. The music students played such pieces as Feel So Good by Chuck Mangione and Gumbo Street by Gordon Goodwin. This is a unique concert for the school year in that the students have only been preparing for five weeks and we have a really young jazz ensemble as well. It's wonderful that we have a ton of freshmen and sophomores in the group. So it was our goal to share with the parents and community members what we've been doing at 6.15 in the morning with our rehearsals um, and the music that they've been working on. The concert took advantage of multicolored lights and a Count Basie inspired set to truly engage the audience in the jazz ensemble. The show also featured plenty of solo performances by Bennett Dirksmeyer on trumpet, Bailey Strasser on trombone, Siddhartha Panati on saxophone, and many more. I feel like this concert went really well. We had lots of um, improvements and skills developed over the course of time from our previous performances, such as the Sydney Fly Craft Fair and our uh, before school rehearsals Monday through Wednesday. And I feel like that time really paid off. This concert was a solid flashback to the times of Benny Goodman to relive old memories of influential jazz pieces. If you wish to see more concerts from the music students at FHS, the orchestra concert is December 19th and the Creating Music concert is January 10th. That's all we have for this week's edition of the Sabre Roar. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at the Sabre Roar.